about a young man named Charlie George, a guy blessed with two first names. All 18 years of Charlie George's life had been spent in frivolity, mirth, and nonsense. If you ever wanted to have fun, just for the sake of fun, you would always look up Charlie. But frivolity, like all good things, must come to an end. It all started just shortly after New Year's when Charlie was a senior in high school. It was a pretty normal day for Charlie George until he went to second period study hall. It was about then that Charlie got a funny feeling inside. Because as Charlie sat there in the study hall, just having awakened from a first class nap, Charlie began to think about the future. His future. Like what he was gonna do after he graduated. And Charlie must have spent nearly all that study hall thinking about the future. In fact, Charlie was startled when the teacher came up, touched him on the shoulder and said, are you sick? Charlie said no, but did say he wanted to visit the high school counselor to talk about his future. The teacher was startled and amazed, but decided for some unknown reason to believe Charlie. And it was a good thing, too, because as Charlie had sat there, he had become aware that when he graduated, what he needed was a livelihood, a vocation, or in other words, a job. So he went down to the counselor's office to get some advice. When Charlie got to the counselor's office, the secretary told him the counselor wasn't in, but that perhaps she could help him. So Charlie proceeded to tell about how he had been thinking about his future and all that there phenomena when she stopped him right there and said, what you need is a thorough vocational analysis. Sit over there. So Charlie sat down and began the ordeal of a thorough vocational analysis. He took a personality test, a vocational aptitude and preference test, a sociability test, and a whole bunch of other things that he didn't understand. But Charlie made the best of it, filling out the computer forms and looking at the pictures. By the time Charlie got to the end of his thorough vocational analysis, the counselor had returned and Charlie was able to talk to him. told the counselor he didn't really want to go to college for four years and couldn't afford it anyway. But he knew he needed to have some kind of skill to get a job. Charlie thought he would like a job where he worked with people a lot. Something that was more rewarding than just getting a paycheck every week. The counselor thought Charlie might be interested in the new occupational horizon opening up in the field of health care. No longer is it just the doctor and nurse fit. It's a whole new thing. With the expansion of modern medical technology, a number of new allied health careers have been opening up. Charlie found out there are all kinds of ways for him to help people and have a satisfying career at the same time. The counselor told Charlie he could become an allied health professional by taking a two-year associate degree course at Kettering College. He encouraged Charlie to get his application in and make all the arrangements as soon as possible. Well, Charlie wasn't too sure he wanted something in the Allied Health field, but the counselor told him that he could go to Kettering College for one semester. And if he didn't like one of the Allied Health curriculums offered there, he could transfer it to another school without losing any credit. So Charlie left the counselor's office with some new ideas to think over. And after he had thought about it a while and had visited the college, he finally decided to try out the program for one semester. So Charlie packed up all his possessions and his guitar, piled them into his BW Beetle, and drove off into the sunset.
Charlie arrived at Kettering College, the first person he met was his roommate, Bob King. Bob was a second year student in environmental management. It was a good thing for Charlie because he was able to get to know his way around the school better. He found out what the teachers were like and who to go to when he wanted something. Also, he began to get a taste of what allied health careers are all about. After he had met Bob's girlfriend, Diane, Charlie got a tour of the hospital. Diane was taking medical office assisting so she could work in a doctor's office or clinic as a medical assistant. As the three of them went in the hospital, they visited the laboratory where Diane was taking some of her clinical training. explained his area of study, environmental management. He told Charlie how the total patient environment, or in other words, the whole hospital, must be carefully controlled to guard against one patient getting another's illness, or to ensure the safety of both patients and employees. Bob explained how the heating system, carpeting and design of the wing could all affect what kind of air the patients breathe. After their hospital tour, Bob, Diane, and Charlie went to the hospital snack shop where they ran into Diane's roommate, Christy. Christy was learning to be a dietetic technician. When he met Christy, Charlie suddenly and mysteriously became interested in dietetic technology and began asking all kinds of questions about the job. Christy was glad to tell him about her field and offered to show him where she worked in the hospital. She showed him the kitchen where the food was prepared for the patients how the trays were made and sent up to the patient. Then they went up on the floors and Christy showed where she assists the dietitian in discussing special diets with patients and coordinating the meal delivery system. Charlie became more and more interested in dietetic technology until that evening when Christy's fiance came to pick her up to go shopping. After that, Charlie's interest in dietetic technology, as well as Christy's, dropped off quickly. After a month or so at the college, Charlie had been able to take a look at all the courses offered at the college. He thought about nursing or respiratory therapy, and there was always radiologic technology. But Charlie finally decided on a new area that was just opening up, medical electronic technology. As the year went on, Charlie worked more and more in the hospital learning how to maintain electronic medical equipment. And for the first time in his life, Charlie realized that he was doing something that few people could do. He was going to have skills that were in demand. Then, one day, as Charlie George, the guy with two first names, was studying in the library, looked across the table, and there, on the other side, by the window, on the other side of the table, Charlie saw this cute little blonde that he hadn't noticed before. And it wasn't long before they began to see each other. And pretty soon, they were studying together. And after that, they did everything together.
graduated together. And after that, they married each other. And then, they lived happily ever after.